I'd just like to point out, I did it first. <laughs> anyway, hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom time. Welcome back to more Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we found out that our friends and our bananas were stolen by K. Rool. Who is here? Yeah, he's there. Um, well, yeah, we're actually going to get started on our quest to get them back right now. Uh, I want to draw attention to this barrel thing right here. If we jump inside, we have Donkey Kong and four question marks. Very first time when I saw this, I thought this was some sort of mini game or something. But in actuality, we can't do anything with this yet. So just make note that the that these barrels are actually going to be of use to us, but not right now. Uh, more importantly, if we uh, step on this pad here, find a similar numbered pad in the same way and press the banana part between the two. Bork! I didn't say bark, did, but I but I said anyways. So yeah, these are basically shortcuts that we can use to get around the area a little quicker. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look around the island, uh, just real quick to familiarize you guys with the area. If we go over here, we will find a beaver, and I'm going to get hit on you. I want to jump on you because I know I can defeat you like that. Though, jumping on enemies isn't as helpful as you think it would be. And in, as well with Donkey Kong Country traditions, we have the Zinger up here. The, these enemies, you cannot damage them. At least not yet. That's right, there is an actual way you can fight these things in this game. Believe it or not. But we don't have access to that yet, so as of now, just avoid them. Hello, Mr. Beaver. Meet my... I was going to say meet my feet, but I pressed the A button instead of the B button. So I'm just going to bitch slap you. All right, and give me that watermelon. Yes, that watermelon is your health in this game. You actually do have a health meter. So don't lose it. All right, and I'll kick you in the face. All right, and uh, we got the uh, other three banana board back there. So we can now use the three banana board if they want to. But I want to come over here to this island that uh, Squatch pointed out to us at the end of the last episode. Because that's the only one that we have access to now. So let's go ahead and pay a visit to whoever or whatever is inside. <laughs> oh, hi. My name's Kilumzi, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such a lovely little island full of cute monkeys, so I said no. K. Rule says I'm too soft to be a Kremlin, and I'm to stay in here until I've toughened up. Sob! I'll do anything to be free again. <laughs> Hey, little monkey. Perhaps you could help poor old Columzy escape? Oh, go on. I'll be your bestest friend. Yeah, if Donkey Kong agreed to whenever somebody told him that they'd be his bestest friend to something up. Okay. Sure, just go ahead and agree to him outright. And he gets really happy. Ready guys, here it comes. Oh, banana. <laughs> I will never get tired of that sound effect. Oh, Columbia is so happy now, but K. Rool has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get a hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rool, though. This has to be our little secret. Yeah, as if Donkey Kong would even want to tell K. Rool. I mean, if he had the capability to go and tell K. Rool that he was helping Kalemzi, he might as well just smash him in the face right now because, well, he's the main bad guy. But in case you haven't noticed by now, Kalemzi is our key to opening up the levels for us. He already opened up the entrance to the first level for us, as well as giving us our first golden banana. That's right, the Golden Bananas are basically the equivalent to stars in a la Mario 64 or Jiggies in Banjo-Kazooie. We collect them, and, we are, uh, and we're allowed in to access new worlds. We're allowed in to access new worlds. That, 
I'm pretty sure that's redundant in some way or form. Well, this is our first golden banana. We have to make it memorable in some way. Let's shove it up his butt! Wait, what? What? <laughs> I... Oh, hold up, hold up. I didn't... <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> He's still in the middle of the walking <laughs> I'm not even mad that I got in there. <laughs> okay. I found that way funnier than I should have, to be honest, but that's never happened to me before, and I found that really funny. Okay. But more importantly, we're in a place that uh, basically has a variation of the main island theme. Lots of places have a variation of the main island theme, so get used to that. These are basically level lobbies, as the game calls them, or, well, not really. I mean, it's sort of the name that, I don't know, the fandom or the soundtrack has given them. But either way, we go over to this big glowy portal here, and... Over here, you dumb ape! I'm the Mighty Delaka! And don't think for one minute you're coming in here without showing me some of your stupid golden bananas. Now let me find out which side of the screen I should have my thought bubble on. I'm having trouble with that. If I disobey that fat old bull Carol, it's a big sawmill in the sky for me. That means I die. So pay up pronto and get my so I can get my wooden butt out of here. All right, I'll see to that. Uh, but you also see these other small doors here. Uh, we can always see that. Um, this is the only one that's different from the others. If we approach it... Don't be afraid, young ones. It's only me, Wrinkly Kong. My body may have passed away since DKC3, but I'm here in spirit to help you defeat those naughty crocodiles. I can use my supernatural powers to reveal to you and your friends where that rogue K. Rule has hidden some of your precious golden bananas. If you, you can come see me whenever you want and see my face, don't be shy now, dearies. I'm rambling because, well, um, I don't know. But yes, Wrinkly Kong, aka Donkey Kong's grandmother, has passed away, so, yeah. And it, it happened in between games, no doubt. Which is weird because she was a fitness streak in the third one. You would wonder what happened in, in betwe between her in this game and that one. Did she have a fitness accident? Like, did she, her shoes get caught on the treadmill and did she go, go on, under and over it? Like... 200 times and eventually that killed her. I should probably stop with these morbid thoughts and just get straight into our first level. Let's see how that cruel Donkey Kong is progressing, shall we? That's right, my scanty friend. The ape hasn't even gotten his first banana. What? How did he do that? Yeah. Very good, Donkey, but you'll need more than brute strength to stop me this time. <laughs> That's my impression of K. Roll's laughs. Uh, I might actually want to do my impression of the. T TV show K Roll one of these days. Uh, DK, gather as many bananas as you can before going through one of these portals. Okay. And by one of these portals, you mean one of these portals. Okay. Noted. Collect 75 or more bananas, DK, and you'll earn a banana medal. Alright, so we have our work cut out for us. We want to go around here and collect as many bananas as we can. Like the notes in Banjo Kazooie, there are 100 in each world. For each Kong. So, in total, there are 500 bananas for us to collect in every single world. Now, normally, you don't have to complete... No, you don't have to, have to uh, collect all of them to um, beat the game. You don't even need to collect most of them in some cases. It depends on which world you're in, depending on which determines how many bananas you need to collect. But for the sake of completion, in this game, I'm going to be collecting all of them. 500 in each world for every Kong. Anyway, we hop up on those vines there, and that opens this door for us. Alright, and now let's go ahead and head on down. And we get some more banana coins. We'll be getting into what those are used for shortly. 
But in the meantime, I want to head into that wall because I wasn't looking at the screen for a minute there. But I want to kick you in the face. And I'm going to kick you in the face, too. Everybody gets a kick in the face. And, come on, no! I wanted to touch the banana port pad. But more importantly... Hey, TK! Ah! Hey, it's Michael Bolton! Squawk! k Roll's minions have hidden 25 golden bananas around this area, but you'll only be able to find five of them without the help of the other gongs. Squawk! So, yes. There we go. More information. We have to collect 25 golden bananas in each world. And because this is basically a 101% run of this game, I will be collecting every single golden banana as well. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do, as you can tell. So, uh, let's see. What did I want to do next? Okay, right. First and foremost, I want to go over here and climb this vine, because this is uh, partially up the way to where we saw Diddy from earlier. Alright, and we go over here. We got some sort of battle pad, it looks like. Or, pad with K. Roll's face on it. We can transport ourselves to K. Roll's battle arena, beat his goons to win a crown! So, we just beat his goons to win a crown, right? Now, I think you only need five of these in order to complete the game, but, again, for the sake of completion, I'm going to be getting all of them! Fever Brawl! Alright, this is by far the easiest one. That's literally all you have to do to win this. Because all the beavers will sp all the beavers will spawn back in around the same time and you can just do that again. However, don't think this works for every single one of these. This trick only works for the very first one. <laughs> if you think it's gonna be a walk in the park like this for the other ones, think again, because some of those are actually pretty darn tough. And you guys are dead. Well, I'll go ahead and take my crown, because I have well played this to earn it. And now we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and head into the armory, the bakery, the armory, the bakery. That's... I should stop using other Let's Players jokes. Even though that's all I'm really good for, because I'm not funny on my own. Sometimes. Hey, been a long time, Donkey Dude! K Rule's return is a real bummer, so the main monkey's here to fix you up with some reptile kicking hardware! Check this out! I've got this real cool shooter! Now trash K Rule's army! And it's yours for just three coins! We talking a deal here! <coughs> oh god. I need to limit my the amount of times I come in here because that voice that I did for Funky right there took a lot out of me. Just, just give me the coconut gun. Uh, we get weapons. Looking good, donkey. Let me give you the lowdown. To fetch out or put away your shooter, press an old Z, then press left. Press B to fire. And you can also press up to use aiming sight mode. And if you're firing blanks, I'm the monkey to see for ammo refills. Zero doing right now, Donkey Dude. Pretty gotta work on my next big thing! He made a little explosion there, so I thought he would have that. So yeah, now we have the coconut shooter. As you would guess, this shoots coconuts. Um, every Kong has a weapon like this, and, and not only are they good for shoot for uh, mowing down enemies and such, but you can also blast zingers out of the air with them and hit certain switches. We haven't seen any of those certain switches yet, but we will in the very near future. Now I'm gonna climb this tree here because I believe at the top there is a banana bunch. Yeah, unlike the notes in Banjo Kazooie, uh, sometimes you'll find bananas in, uh, usually you'll find them in trails, not usually one that's sitting all by themselves, but you'll find them in trails, sitting in bunches, or my personal favorite, in balloons that you can blast open with the shooter. But yeah, a little bit of information right now. Uh, these weapons that the Kongs have, originally, in the beta version of the game, they were planned to be real guns. I'm not joking, there are screenshots of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong with real ass guns in the game. But, I mean, we know that that wasn't ever gonna fly, so 
It was obviously changed to something more comical. That reminds me of this really funny commercial where you just see, like, the aftermath of the Kongs where they've been. You just see fruit splattered everywhere. Whatever. I'll, I'll stop ignoring the, uh, you know. And go ahead and pick it up. You might need Funky's help to get me out of here. And you can see that there are now coconut switches over all of these doors. So what we have to do now is simple enough. We want to take our body and splatter it against the floor like a pancake. Then, uh, I wonder, can we do it again? Come on, two for two. No, oh, I wasn't high enough. Okay, well. Uh, not like I wanted to do that anyways, because all I would actually want to do is come over here and hit you. Because that is one of the switches we need to open Diddy out of his cage. We're going to actually have to uh, go around and hit all of these to uh, successfully get Diddy out of his cage. Oh, well, if we do, we get something really special. It's not hard to figure out what that is. Alright. So now that we've done that, we're going to come over here and I wonder, I think I'm one of these that we uh, get. There's something, I don't know. But, uh, more importantly, I like to come over here and slam on you, or not slam, but there's a banana balloon over here, as I mentioned before, if you see one of these, we can pop them with the coconuts. Very worthwhile to do that. Also, there's a door switch right here. Alright, um, so while this is going on, I'm going to go ahead and take time to explain uh, a feature about this game. This is one of three games on the N64 that um, requires the expansion pack. So if you're thinking you're just going to pick up this game and have a good time with it, make sure you get a memory expansion pack because otherwise the game will not work properly. You need the expansion pack in order to play this. Alright, and last one I believe is over here. Okay, glad the coconut didn't just break because sometimes the shooters can be really picky on if you fire close to behind something. So, yeah. Anyways, Diddy is free now, so he can help us by collecting red bananas, and he'll go wait in the tag barrel for us. So now we have unlocked Diddy as a playable character! <clears throat> yeah, um, actually, I'll go ahead, since I happen to fall, I'll go ahead and show that. If we jump into the tag barrel, we can now switch cons whenever we jump into one of these barrels. So... Uh, Squawk, hello, Diddy! There are five gold bananas for you to find here, too, boy! And I gotta say that every time you bring out a new Kong for the first time, he does get used to it. Anyway, uh, I actually want to climb these trees here real quick because we actually get presents for climbing them. And by presents, I mean red bananas. Because, yes. Anyway, uh, you might think that, uh... Is this all to the world that we're seeing right now? No. Worlds are usually much more expensive than this. In fact, Jungle Japes is ironically one of the smaller worlds. Yeah. We're going to be getting into some pretty big worlds down the road here. And let me check my timer because I don't have my capture open. Okay, well, we're almost at time right now. By which 20 minutes because I like all my videos to be around 20 minutes long. So I'll just climb this tree, get this banana bunch that I missed. Grit this banana bunch that I missed. I totally meant to admit, say it like that. And uh, we're gonna uh, hop back on the vine only to hop right back off. <clears throat> we're gonna hop over here back to the barrel cannon and uh, go back to where Diddy's cell was because, as you can see, he dropped a golden banana there for us. And when we grab this, that little number in the corner shows how many bana golden bananas this Kong has in each world. But. We have now opened these gates for us. Now we can go explore even more of the level. Uh, but first, I think I'm going to come up here and uh, drop off by this area because there's some more bananas over here, as well as this place called Snies HQ. Um, well, first things first, where get over here. I'm actually gonna, uh, climb up this. I think it might be a little banana. No? Okay, well, it was worth the climb. But I think we'll end out this episode by visiting this Snides HQ, or whatever. There's no real purpose into visiting this right now, but I thought I'd go, go ahead and show it just for the sake of showing what's inside here.
Greetings! Snide's the name, Revenge is my game. Did you know K. Roll's been working on his blastomatic machine and intends to destroy your island? I was the chief technician on the project, but that double crossing lizard kicked me off his team because he didn't trust me. Well, I'm glad to see that we, we can be buddies now. You, you should have joined the Alliance of Mammals. I don't know why you were trying to join the reptiles or whatever. Anyways, I'll try to help you stop K. Rule's machine, but you'll need some of my original blueprints. That's what they look like. I believe they were given to some of the king's toughest cronies. So be careful. For every blueprint you return, I'll give you one of those golden bananas K. Rule stole from your horde. No blueprint, no banana. You never know. They might just buy you some valuable time. Hint, hint, hint. That's the deal, Kong. This isn't a game, Kong. Those blueprints are vital to us both. So please go and find some. All right. I like you. We can see how many blueprints we've collected here. That's obviously why we have none. Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and explain this. There are five blueprints hidden within each level. That includes the overworld as well. Uh, for every blueprint that we return to Snide, he will give us one golden banana. However, for every, for each of the five blueprints in the world, you can only collect one of them with a respective Kong. Therefore, each Kong has one blueprint they can collect in each world, thereby giving each Kong five bananas. The five Kongs, five bananas they can get from Snide in each world. It doesn't matter what level you go to to turn in the blueprints, you can turn them in in any level, but still, uh, for the sake of completion or whatever, I just like to turn in the ones that I get in the normal levels, but we'll be doing that as it comes. I'm rambling from this point forward, so uh, we'll get into that later. Right now, I think this is a good point to stop playing right now, so next time on Donkey Kong 64, we're going to go through some of those gates we've opened and see what awaits us in there. So I will see you guys next time. Laters!